Welcome to the newly rebranded Soulflare wallet for the Solana network. In this video, we will cover everything that is new and provide you with a complete guide on setting up, funding and using the Soulflare wallet. So if you're ready to begin, smash that like and subscribe button and let's dive straight into the video. So to begin with, my friends, we are officially on their website and they have had a complete rebrand of their Soulflare wallet. It used to be looking completely different and now we have got a complete new overhaul of which you can check out over on their X. So if you want to stay up to date, give them a follow. However, on the 19th of March, you can see a new era for Soulflare. Built for those who hold strong, a brand new look, custom backgrounds for your wallet, faster, smoother, and more reliable than ever. Trade every single Solana coin instantly. A bold new direction, and this is only the beginning. So you can see the entire story of their rebranding, my friends. If you want to learn more, of course, it is all here for you guys to check out. However, we are here to very simply show you how to set up a Soulflare wallet now that they have completely rebranded. So once you are here, guys, what you're going to want to do is very simply choose the method of which you're going to use this wallet you can either a use it on the mobile device or b use it on a desktop and in this video we are going to be solely focusing on the desktop so once we click this button as you can see we are prompted to now choose our platform so if we scroll down you can see it's available on google chrome firefox brave edge opera and arc so i'm going to very simply choose the chrome extension of which i'm now going to add to brave you can give it a full rundown before you are ready however once it is done you will see automatically the pop-up appear on your screen so what do we do from here? Well, you can see that Soulflare wallet has been added, but once we are ready, what I like to do is I like to head into the top right corner where the jigsaw piece puzzle is. And what I like to do is I like to click this little pin icon because it adds my extension directly at the top. And therefore I can access Soulflare whenever I like it. I can also drag it in order of relevance and my favorite of which I'm going to drag it to the first because we are using it for this video. So your wallet, your kingdom. Once you are ready, my friends, you either need to select one of the options, which is going to be, I need a new wallet i already have a wallet or continue with a hardware wallet such as ledger or keystone so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up a brand new wallet and that is the i need a new wallet option as you can see straight away guys you are prompted with 12 words now these 12 words are extremely important and are the direct keys to your wallet so you must keep these 12 words extremely safe because if someone has access to these 12 words they will have access to your entire wallet so please guys make sure that you don't write this down on any technological device anything that is powered by electricity that includes your phone your laptop your ipad your ipod whatever it may be guys don't write it down on an email don't write it down on your notes please write it down on a physical piece of paper or a steel sheet and somewhere that you know you are going to store it safely and remember where it is. So guys, this is so, so important. I can't stress it enough. Please write down these words in order. Please make sure that you've triple checked the spelling and please triple check that you haven't stored it anywhere online or on any piece of electronic devices. So I'm going to very simply write down my 12 words and click I saved my recovery phrase, which once you are here, all you need to do is enter your recovery phrase from one to 12, making sure that you've written them down all correctly and all spelt correctly. And therefore you will now click continue just like so. And the next important step is to set up a password. Now make sure that you've written down this password as well because if you forget this password you are going to need to input your recovery phrase in order to create a brand new one and if you forget your recovery phrase and your password then your wallet is as good as gone and you won't be able to access your wallet at any given time so both of these steps are very crucial guys to setting up a wallet and therefore you make sure that you've written them down correctly and safely and voila we are all set your wallet is secured and only you hold the keys start exploring your kingdom let's explore so wow this is an amazing user interface from the get-go i absolutely love it this is a brand new sleek user interface if i may say so so of course guys once we are here we now need to get our soul tokens into the software wallet and in the top right corner we can confirm that we've got our wallet address we can confirm that we've got our account and we are ready to go so what do we do from here? Well, in the center, you can see the receive, stake, and send button. And we need to very simply click this receive button in order to receive assets into our wallet. And you can see here that we've got our wallet address of which we can click copy address, or we can directly scan this barcode in order to use it for a centralized exchange or whether or not that's from another wallet. What I'm going to be personally doing is depositing tokens from a centralized exchange into my software wallet. And just as an example, I'm going to be using crypto.com, which you're going to see appear on the screen right now. 
And as you can see on my phone on the crypto.com application, we've got the options of buying, selling, transferring, or wrapping and unwrapping our Solana. Now I've got 0.43 Solana available here, and I very simply want to click transfer. Now this is most likely going to replicate across every centralized exchange, and therefore you're going to want to use the transfer button in order to withdraw your tokens from the centralized exchange, which you can see the option down below, and you're going to withdraw them over to your software wallet. And you can either do that with the two options of either A, copying your address by copying this address, and then going into the external wallet, as you can see, adding a new wallet address, choosing wallet address, and then selecting where it says here, wallet address, and you just click paste. If not, guys, you see the little barcode icon in the wallet address section as well on the crypto.com app. And therefore, if I click that, you'll be able to see the little camera pop up and I just have to scan the barcode and automatically it appears with our wallet address. Now, once you've got the wallet address added into that little section, you then need to ensure that you've got the Solana network prompted above. As you can see, we've got the Sol and Kronos networks, but we want to confirm it's on the Solana network. Down below, you must enter the name and the country and enter the wallet type, which is going to be non-custodial. And then all you need to do is go through the steps and then you just click withdraw, confirm and withdraw, choose an amount that you want to send over. I'm going to do 0.43 so I'm going to do the entire thing. Click confirm and you are good to go and you will see that you will be notified about the status of your request. Please check your transaction history for more details. So it's been submitted and we just need to now wait for it to enter our Soulflare wallet. And boom, just like that, guys, look, we've got $52.35 we've got our 0.42 Solana in our wallet. Now, what do we do and how do we use our Solana tokens? Well, after this, guys, the world is your oyster. You can very simply explore the Solana network however you wish. So first step, as you can see, if you want to swap your tokens in the Soulflare wallet, directly on the right-hand side, we've got a swap feature, which is absolutely superb, enabling us to swap any single Solana token, which is absolutely wicked. Now, if I click Solana up top, because that's the only token we have in our wallet, Next, down below, we need to choose the token of which we want to obtain. It could be Solana, USDC, it could be USDT, it could be any meme coin, it could be any token within the Solana ecosystem. Just in this example, we're going to use USDC, one of the leading stable coins, and I'm very simply going to choose an amount. Let's just say I did 0.09. As you can see down below, we're going to get $11.10. All you need to do is click swap. If you are happy with it, you confirm it. And just in a matter of seconds, you'll get your USDC. Not even just one or two seconds, probably microseconds. But guys, that is very simply how to swap tokens. And if you want to swap them back, you very simply reverse it or toggle the token up top as the token you want to sell. Choose the amount and boom, you click swap and confirm it and you're good to go. So we've got all our tokens back into Sol. What is next, my friends? Well, you can very simply explore the Soulflare wallet. You can go into the token section and see all of your assets. So basically your portfolio tab, you can very simply send and receive assets. So if you wanna to send to another wallet address, the option is yours. You just need to simply send to a wallet address. So you go up to another wallet, say for example, you got a Phantom wallet. All you would do is very simply copy your Solana address, come down here and then very simply choose an amount that you wanna send. Guys, that is how to send. And then if you want to receive assets from a friend, you just send them your wallet address. After that, we've got the collectible section. This will show you all of the NFTs that you may hold in your wallet. Obviously, we haven't got any now, but if I was to explore Magic Eden or another NFT marketplace, I could obtain one and you would find your NFTs appear here. After that, if you want to stake your Solana assets, you can very simply stake to a validator directly with Soulflare. Stake your Solana to steadily earn rewards, basically earning you passive income from your Solana tokens, whether or not they're idle. You can very simply stake your Sol tokens to the Soulflare validator for an APY of 6.93%, which is variable, so please bear that in mind. However, this is not going to be for everyone as you may not want to lock up your tokens as it will be a minimum of 30 days if I am correct in saying. So for example, if I was to stake 0.01, as you can see down below, we wouldn't get much of an annual return, but you can see the total stake in the pool. You can obviously change the validator if you had one in mind. It could be when, it could be another one. It's entirely up to you, whatever you had in mind. However, guys, I'm not going to stake in this video, but in the future, you'll learn how to make passive income from the Solana network. So stay tuned because that video is coming sooner than you think. Nonetheless, we've got the trade section, which is basically just a dedicated page to swapping. So you can also go to your portfolio tab and swap tokens here. However, in the trade section, it is a much deeper version of which you can utilize. However, 
Also, we've got the activity tab, so you'll be able to see all of the transactions that you've done, everything that you may have done, whether or not that's receiving or swapping or buying NFTs or whatever it may be, it will all appear here in your activity. However, guys, that is very simply how to navigate the Soulflare wallet. If, for example, you wanted to use it on a platform such as the Jupyter Exchange, how would you do so? Well, first of all, you'd have to get your wallet onto the platform. So you need to go to the top right corner or in the middle, you can see this option down here of which you now need to choose your wallet. You can see we've got Jupyter Mobile, Phantom, Soulflare, Backpack, Coinbase, Magic Eden, and so on. Obviously, we're using the Soulflare wallet and therefore we want to very simply get ourselves signed in. Once you are in, the world is your oyster. You can swap and utilize all of the features in the Jupyter Exchange. So say, for example, I was going to swap 0.05 of my soul tokens. Now you can see it's going to swap. It comes up with a little pop up. You very simply just swap it and it is good to go. Now, guys, you don't actually have to use this user interface in the top right corner. If you open up the Soulflare wallet, you'll be able to have a little pop up just like so, of which is a nice, sleek, easy way to explore Solana. However, if you did prefer the bigger portfolio tab, you can very simply open up your Soulflare wallet and click this little open up icon and it will open up fully for you. But guys, that is the Soulflare wallet in a nutshell. Remember, we are not financial advisors. We do not give any financial advice. So please conduct your own research at all times. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button because it really shows support on our channel. We appreciate every single one of you. And if you have any requests whatsoever in terms of content, let us know in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to participate in the 500 subscriber giveaway of which we are giving away $100, $50 to two lucky winners. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe and got that notification bell turned on and we can't wait to see you in the next video.